Hey everyone, uh, this is Mwesu Gwamgwa Posko, the Head Teacher Wisdom Center, Karumuna, uh, that is Ibugesara district. Uh, yes, so we are, I'm going back that we go through uh, our activities. Remember, I'm your science teacher, okay? So uh, before we go to today's lesson, it's very important to note uh, uh, about what's happening here today and why you're at home. Specifically, you know that uh, 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 these days uh, coronavirus is a pandemic that has, has uh, spread, that is, trying, that is uh, uh, very dangerous within the, the countries and uh, it's rich, it's, 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 easy, it's easy for you to avoid it if you, uh, you, you really uh, observe the government's measures they have put in place. So it's possible for us to do it. For us people in my class, before starting our lessons, uh, it's better. You can get sanitizer and sanitize, sanitize uh, yourself first, okay? So before I start my lesson, I need to sanitize myself. Remember, it's very important. Yes, uh, majorly, uh, there are many major measures put by the government to avoid the spread of COVID-19, which is uh, coronavirus. Please, dear pupils, dear friends who are watching my lessons, uh, it's very important that uh, Yes, you do the following. Uh, you sanitize your hands every time. And then uh, if you have no sanitizer, get water and soap, wash your hands. Because you might touch any surface that is infected. So do that and then avoid uh, constant transferring of your hands into the faces, into the face, the mouth, the eyes. It's very important to note that. Then it's very important still to keep uh, social distance don't uh, interact with any person you find around is quite uh, strange because COVID-19 is real. You need to keep home, stay home for safety. So at this time, the government added this time for you to stay home. Please, we need to acknowledge that. It's because of your safety, okay? And, and uh, it's, your life is very important, it's paramount. Your life and your neighbor. So stay home, keep yourself safe and your neighbor safe. And then as you keep home, Keep always watching our lessons. You'll be helped every time you need. Uh, easily check on us, our contacts. You can easily get us. Uh, you can easily, in the case you need us, you have contacts here. You check uh, on our website. You can easily see us. You can get us on the email, Wisdom Center web email. Anytime, yes, we are there for you. Please use those contacts. Don't say, I have no teacher around, please. Uh, your teacher is near, close to you and uh, ready to help you from any corner of the country or the world. Don't say, ah, don't wow, say for me, now I'm far. No, you're not far from me. I'm there close to you in any corner of the world. We are here to serve you, to help you in this period so that you get back to school when you're really good, doing well in your lessons, not uh, backsliding. Please. Let us move on and then we keep ourselves updated in this period. Yes, uh, and then still for parents, always make sure you guide, you, 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 you guide our learners that, to be ready for the lessons that they don't miss any lesson. So as we move on today, we are specifically uh, going to look to go ahead with our topic that we began yesterday. That's about... Uh, about uh, waste management or, sustain, sus, or sustainable waste management. Looked at waste yesterday, we looked at uh, types of waste, okay? We looked at uh, different groups of waste and then where they come from or which are called sources of waste. That gave us a background or a brief ground of looking at waste in the general. And we say the wastes are dangerous, but we have to, uh, we have to hunt them properly. And then still we said, waste may not be waste. Simply, we can refer, change them into uh, new products by recycling or reuse. So it's very important not that. As we move on, uh, we can go straight to the topic of the worker for today. That's specifically uh, waste management techniques. We want to simply see how should we manage waste. So uh, most cases you find as people dispose waste anywhere they find. Littering them is not good. So that's why I've come this time that uh, as candidates, as uh, friends who are watching these lessons following me of in any class, any level, yes, it's very important. Or any friend, yes, good for you to 
handle waste properly. And here there are the techniques of handling waste. Yes, and then before that, we need to see what does waste management technique simply refer? This simply refer to the steps taken to manage waste from its source to its final disposal. So majorly uh, at home, we, this part you have to play until the, the garbage collectors come to take all that garbage, okay, to, for, for disposal on the west side. That's why we look at uh, this kind of, uh, of the, the, the ways we can follow the techniques we use. So let us move ahead and check, have a look at them. Uh, the number one simply is a professional garbage collection, okay? Yes, we shall see, even at home, how should we keep, collect the garbage? How should we dispose it? You, by hope of the dustbins and the, or the waste pits at home, we shall see them here. Then we shall also go to safe, uh, safe waste transportation, where we shall see uh, garbage collectors or people using trucks, transporting them to waste sites for this puzzle. And then we also have treatment or proper waste processing. So all some waste before they are disposed of, we are supposed to treat them to avoid, to make them harmless. And then we also, we also have maximum reuse uh, and, and recycling. So we shall see here, sometimes we may not throw waste away, but we use them for other purposes, okay? And then one can also recycle them, change them into new products. Those are some of the techniques we want to hand look at this time. And lastly will be the composting. Composting simply means uh, uh, making this waste to rot, to decay. So you find that uh, we can easily do this by to form or to make manure, which will be very good in our gardens uh, to improve on soil fertility. So we can now move ahead and look at one by one, and then that's uh, professional garbage collection as a technique of handling waste. So this majorly uh, garbage or waste can be collected in two ways, yes, in this way. We can collect them and throw them in dustbins, okay? That's why you find even in the classes you have dustbins, that's for you to dispose there anything waste from class. That's class waste. If it's at home, you find that dustbin you can dispose Draw, instead of throwing on the compound. If it's on the way, you can find the streets. There are also dustbins where you can throw or dispose of waste. If there are bottles of drinking water or any non-useful material. So we should dispose them in such uh, places to avoid them or to avoid or reduce their contamination in the environment. Then you can also dispose waste, okay, by depositing the waste in a compost pit. A compost pit can be just, these are like pits which are dug. In the home places you have them, they are dug, these pits are dug specifically for containing waste. So you see this where they dispose waste. So meaning uh, you can also dispose there, but still remember, we should dispose waste basing on their properties. Those which rot should be separate. Those which do not do which, which which do not rot also be separate because if you mix them, these wastes are hazardous. They can easily destroy the environment or be harmful to our lives. And then uh, we can check on this. Check on this person here in this picture throwing waste in the dustbin. You can see that's why the dustbins are put there at school in your classes uh, from the classes around the compound. Check uh, if you're going back home on the streets, the dustbins in the city, the areas around. When you reach at home, you have dustbins. Any waste disposed in the dustbins uh, to reduce their danger to the environment and our lives. We can still then check or move to number two, next technique of handling waste. This will be a safe waste transportation. Simply we see, this one we look at how we can transport waste from one place to another. Majorly from the source to the site for this puzzle. So collect and, collect and safe transport, okay, or transport, collect and safely transport the garbage to dump sites or landfills, okay. 
So simply collect and safe transport, okay? The garbage to dump sites or landfills. So dump sites here immediately mean places where we can dispose wastes. They can also be called the landfills. So you can ask you, what are landfills? Simply refers to areas where waste can be disposed of. Okay? Yeah, they are dumping sites in simple terms, the landfills. And then you can check. So you can see here, tra safe transportation. You can see the one who is uh, trying to manage waste is dressed in the oval. And then you can see I've got the gumboots, I've got the gloves. So at least it's safe from exposure. I've got a mask, can't easily get the smell from the, the, the waste, okay, and cover the head. So this is properly safe. Okay, you can see garbage collection vehicle. So here somebody uh, is using a garbage collector collection vehicle to transport the waste from the source from one place to the garbage dumping site or the landfills. So you can see here, in B here, transportation of garbage. Now after loading, then they are now taken to the places for this deposing, disposing like uh, landfills or dumping sites or dump sites places where you can dispose waste of then uh, we still have another technique of handling waste that is proper simply proper waste processing waste have to be changed okay like here changing chemical composition of wastes so if some waste are harmful, are hazardous. So don't just dispose like those who are medical waste, industrial waste. We can first treat them, changing them into harmless waste, then they can be disposed of. So we can also do this also by removing environmental pollutants from industries and municipal municipal wastes. Okay, treating sewage before discharging. Sewage simply this one can find the waste water like from factories. Okay, from uh, this waste here, from, from toilets. So they should be dumped anywhere. They should be first treated, okay, before taking the dumping sites where they're supposed to be taken. Then uh, the next will be recycling and reusing. Okay, so we can check, maybe look at this time properly. We looked at, yes, earlier looked at the recycling. For recycling, simply is the process of converting or changing waste materials into some new materials or products simply one who can define recycling as the process of changing wastes into other new products that is the simple term the simple of defining recycling the process of changing or converting wastes into other new products okay yes if they are plastics you can change them and make them get other new plastics okay and then we can see, uh, can we can these two ones can be used? Okay, so you can like all the plastics can be used to make a new new ones, new plastics. All jerry cans can be used to make a new jerry cans. That is recycling. So recycling, majorly we you take these to factories. But remember, sometimes uh, this might be harmful like to the environment because again, as we. Well, well, it's, it's some better than burning. Some of you, you burn waste at home. Burning also at home is not also is not all that recommended because it's uh, harmful to the environment. So what you have to do is to take to factories for recycling. It's better because majorly factories are sited far from residential places to avoid uh, pollution of the residential areas. So as we move on, we can see that uh, the next part about reusing. Reusing is the act of making use of the waste product for another purpose from the original one. For example, if a plastic tin, okay, uh, if, uh, if a, 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 a plastic tin, let's say, was used for, let's say, packing different drinks, okay, if it's water, yes, it can be used as flower pots or flower vessels. That's reusing. Taking that object and then you use it for another purpose okay look at the uh, boxes where maybe you they are bought soap and what they are packed there so the main purpose was used to package or for packing soaps packing soaps soap and then what do we do if they are 
packages for soap, but you have removed soap or they are for sugar and removes there. So once you remove, you can also use them for any other purpose at home, like keeping any items there. So that's what we mean by reusing. So reusing simply refers to the act of making use of the waste product for another purpose from the original one. That's why we simply say that wastes are not wastes, depending on the way we can handle them properly. Then there we also simply have another term which is upcycling. Upcycling simply uh, refers to uh, the act of changing waste into different utility items. Okay, for example, plastic bottles can be used to make chairs, toys, among other things. Okay, this is somewhat different from re recycling. Recycling can simply mean changing items, but for upcycling, upcycling uh, will mean uh, changing I was specifically for utility items, that is upcycling. And then you can check here, look at a, a exam, an example of upcycling, like this, I always, you can see, these are bottles of water, of any, any, any carbon of water, you can see, uh, water bottles. So here they are upcycling, they are changed into new objects, new uh, objects, materials, like you see here, recycling of plastic bottles to give plastic stools. This is a plastic stool. It's very nice. You can sit on, one can sit on, but it was got from plastic bottles. So these are changed into uh, new objects for use. That is simply called upcycling. That's why you can see wastes are also useful in case we handle them properly. Then uh, we also have another technique that is simply uh, known as uh, composting. In this, uh, this is where wastes are left to rot or decay from the farm to form manure. Majorly, when composting, you when composting, you have to leave them. You have to collect them in one place for them to rot and form manure. This is simply done to uh, these organic wastes, wastes that are got from agriculture. Uh, which we, all, we can also say uh, refer to, to uh, biodegradable waste. They can easily be uh, put together to decay and form manure. This is commonly with biodegradable waste. Simple as that. So biodegradable waste, not, not, don't just dispose them anywhere. Collect them and then put them on the compost pit. Keep for some time and then they will rot or decay, which will lead to good manure which is simply called as compost manure, which, is, which will help uh, in improving on soil fertility. Okay, not, look at this note here. Uh, hazardous waste, as we looked at them some time back, we said this can cause harm. They should either be buried or burned in incinerators. For example, hospital waste. So waste from hospitals, from factories, these waste are harmful. So what we do, we should burn them in, in, in a device called incinerators. An incinerator is a device used to burn waste under high temperatures, okay, until they turn into ash. Yes, these can, these can be hospital wastes, like those medical wastes, uh, talk of the uh, industrial wastes, which may be a form of chemicals. This one can be burned in incinerators to control the spread of diseases or harm to, to human lives. You can see here, this is an incinerator. Uh, you can see where they are easily, can easily burn, can say hope to burn wastes with high temperature. You can see. And then, so burning waste in the incinerator. Is, this is also another good way because uh, it's, it is, uh, this one, it, it can easily control the spread of, 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 of other infections. In the case of those who waste have, they have infections, they have chemicals. And then uh, the waste management techniques can be summarized as three errors. Okay? They can ask you simply, yes, write three errors in full. Okay? Simply here, are the three errors here, you find that uh, we look at three techniques of, waste, of, of, uh, of controlling or managing wastes. We can also refer this to golden rule of, of managing wastes. So they can ask in exams, what 
uh, write three arrows in full, okay? Uh, basing to the golden rule of managing waste. Or they can ask you, what, uh, define the term golden rule, okay? Golden rule in uh, managing waste. Yes, simply here, uh, we, the golden rule we do here, uh, we, what we do here, majorly we have, uh, each letter begins with R, okay? This, we can summarize this into simply three arrows. That is recycle, okay? Uh, reuse and reduce. So when they ask you an exam, what are the three golden rules of managing waste? What should we do? Which are the other technique, okay? The golden technique, the main technique, the better one which you can easily follow and in a summarized way. So you can say recycle. To recycle means simply change waste into new products. Then reuse. Reuse meaning use, using the waste material for another purpose, for another purpose or use. For example, if it's a box, okay, or if it's like a, let's say if it's a tin, uh, their containers, you can use them for as flower vessels or flower pots. That means they will be serving another purpose, okay? So that's the reuse. Then reduce. This simply means remove waste from the environment. If there are many there, yes, you reduce them, remove them, put, take them to the dumping sites or to the uh, waste sites, to the dustbins. So the golden rule, rule of controlling or managing wastes. We have recycle, reuse, and reduce. So please note this. It will always ask you this in exam. Write three errors. Uh, as far as waste management techniques are concerned, or as a way of managing waste, simply say recycle, reuse, and reduce. Okay? So uh, let us look at uh, the importance of waste management. Why should you manage waste? Why, should you, no, why shouldn't we leave waste within our environment? Uh, so majorly we do this to protect health, human health. This is important. So if you leave their waste there, they will easily affect our health. So this is done to protect human health. Then another thing uh, is to protect the environment. They are mainly living in the environment. Talk over the aquatic life can also be destroyed uh, on the land. So once we suggest disposal of on land, you can easily cause harm to, the, to our environment and destroy life or lives. Then re reduce pollution. Once waste are collected from one place to another, to dumping sites, this will, con which will reduce pollution. That's why we don't uh, majorly emphasize or encourage burning of waste because burning can cause pollution, but they should be collected and taken to the dumping sites or they can be turned into manure. Those are better ways of handling waste without spoiling or polluting the environment. Uh, also, proper handling of waste also promotes cleanliness in the homes, towns, and cities. Yes, we need to keep our premises, our areas of OST very clean to avoid diseases. So this can also be very important to us. And then this brings us to the end of our lesson today, but we can at least check on this activity. Uh, you are given an activity here to go through. Yes, so this is summarizing at least a number of areas we looked at this topic. From the time we began looking at uh, sustainable waste management. So we asked number one to define what is waste management. Look at this. Then uh, with examples, give the difference between biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes. We looked at this. Okay. Yes, so check, look at number three. What are hazardous wastes? You can have time and do this, please. This is your work for revision. And then look at you have different types of hazardous wastes and their potential danger. Yes, you can look at this and so do this number. Distinguish between recycling and reusing wastes. Yeah, can do this. And then number five, recently, Kigali was ranked as the cleanest city in Africa. How do you think the government of Rwanda has managed to do this? Okay, yes, you need to answer this. And because this simply begins from home. Okay, and then next number, number six, the golden rule, rule, okay, of waste management is three arrows. What does this, what does it stand for? So simply write the three arrows in full, which we talked of 
as just recently. Then uh, group the waste as shown the table below. You see, you're given a table to complete, it's like her. Huh? You're given here hazardous waste. You're given organic waste, then recyclable waste. So, uh, so group the waste as shown in the table below. So you can fill in at least the examples, take three, three to four examples in each. Yes, those of which are hazardous, uh, which are harmful to our bodies, those which are organic, which are from the gardens, those which are recyclable, which can be changed into other new products. So with that guidance, you can still do this, okay? And then uh, also, next number says, the missing information uh -huh, in the table below, or give the missing information here, simply. Complete, simply complete the table below by giving missing information. So here you give a type of waste, example, how to manage it. So check here if you're giving industrial waste, give an example, how should we manage it? Are we going to treat it, okay, by use of chemicals? Uh, how, are we go, how are we going to handle that, okay? Are we going to dump on the sites, dumping sites? So medical wastes, uh -huh, example, how do you manage them? Are we going to burn them in incinerators? Are we going to transport to take them to the dumping sites? Are we going to dispose them on our com in our compounds? Yes, you can check. Let's do what you answer. Then you have electronic wastes, wastes from electronics. And then still see how do we, the examples and then to manage them. Are we going to recycle them? Are we going to reuse them? All those are ways of managing wastes. Then agriculture wastes. So give the examples here. And then how are you going to manage them? Are we going to use them for manure? Are we going to burn them? Are we going to recycle? Yes. Are we going to reuse? You can see which is the better way of managing that waste. So this is very important. And uh, we expect, I expect you to do this. Uh, do this activity. This will be very important for you. And then more questions for you here. Uh, and then what do you understand by the term professional garbage collection? Okay. Yes. Look at that. Um, Okay, this year we're saying uh, Ngwana's computer got spoiled. Okay, got spoiled. Yeah, I can't put you here. Then he took it and dumped it in a in a, a compost pit nearby his home. Comment on this. Comment on this. So what how do how should we handle that? In case your computer, your ex or laptop gets a problem, okay? Or your flash this case a problem. Do you just dump on the compost compost pit? What do you do? So Okay, so uh, comment on this and then give advice to this friend of ours. The next number here, number 11, what can you advise uh, Gamuka who doesn't like collecting garbage in her home compound? So this, this one, you find she, she majorly leaves the garbage there, maybe after eating. You find some of you say this is for, for the house, for the house, for, for there are things we need to be involved. So please, as our candidates, as our friends who are following me, how should we, yes, take this? So some, some of some friends fear, they say they don't, they don't want, they don't want to collect, to remove waste from the environment, please. In this time, as you're at home, make sure you keep cleanness, you collect, you, 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 you follow these steps and then uh, keep the environment safe for you, okay? Then, then, then dumping waste everywhere, littering them where, yes, put them in the uh, dumping sites or the dustbins there. If we have the landfills, go and dump them there, dispose of them there. Then, uh, so yes, so give an uh, advice here to this person here. She doesn't like collecting garbage at home. So what advice would you give to her? Then let's, uh, num uh, coming to the end, we look at uh, some numbers here, which is number 12. What, or explain what landfill is in its importance in the society. Yes, what's the importance of landfills in the society? Okay, and then uh, number 13, what should be done to hazardous waste? So should we recycle them? Should we uh, keep them in the compound? Uh, should we burn them in incinerators? Okay. Uh, should we uh, dispose them to dumping sites? What do you think would be the best way? Should we burn them? What should be the best way of handling the hazardous waste whether that are harmful to our human health or to the environment? Okay. Then uh, last number, uh, wastes are a must. 
discuss this statement. What does this mean? West, I must. Okay? Uh -huh. Discuss this. So, uh, West will be there. Yes? So, discuss this. Because uh, even now, as I talk, we'll find you going to get food stuff, you're eating after eating, there remains remaining. Those are West. So, West, I must discuss the statement. So, please, as you discuss, remember to also give the way of, uh, of, of controlling or managing such wastes. Okay? And this, is, this brings us to the end of our lesson today and closing the topic of wastes from the time we started. Yes, uh, it is very important that today we have covered a lot of uh, areas in this part of uh, waste management. We simply began with uh, uh, waste management techniques, ways how waste are managed or are handled from the, from the source to the d dumping sites or to the disposal areas. So yes, we've been looking at different ways, uh, safe transportation wastes. Uh, we looked at that. We looked at uh, different ways of, uh, hand of uh, taking some managing wastes. We talked of recycling, talked of uh, reuse. Uh, yes, upcycling, okay? Uh, burning using them, using incinerators. Uh, these are all ways of managing wastes, okay? There's the composting, uh, collecting them in a compost pit for them to decay or to rot and turn to manure. Those are all ways, uh, all techniques of handling wastes. So we have looked at that and we come to the end. But remember, wastes, wastes I must. So we need to see how we manage these wastes for dustbins if they are, let's say, on the school compound in the classes. Any wastes you get, drop in the dustbins and then take it to dust to the, uh, to the dumping sites or the, the landfills. If it's from uh, if we move on the way, you, you have the bottles, okay? For let's say you bought a bottle for drinking water, this pours in the dumping bins or dust bins on the, on, on the streets. The same thing at home, do the same thing. When you see waste there, please remove them. Don't say they are for sun soap because they can easily harm your life. They can easily cause diseases. They won't uh, say this one is not the one who put me here. So please keep that as you, we go on. So I hope. Uh, this lesson has been useful to you. Uh, keep following us. Do this. I've left you with you an activity. Please could do this activity for any problem, any challenge. Uh, you can still check. Uh, contacts are still there. You can still uh, get any time when you get in a challenge on these questions. Yes, please uh, check on the contacts and then reach us. We can help you. We are here for you. Uh, in any difficult you have in case of their question don't understand it properly yes simply uh, just uh, reach us on those contacts uh, you'll be given help okay and then uh, you'll be actually at par updating yourself so please keep following us on btn tv we are ever there on the still check on youtube you'll be getting this check on the website okay uh, wisdom center website and we still provide you more areas or sources. Still follow uh, the um, uh, WhatsApp groups, okay? We have them of our Wisdom Center. You can easily access them and then have questions to help you go through this time. Please don't stay there and say we are left. Nobody is left this time. Uh, Chabosco is here for you to help you. I don't want to find a person in any corner of the country, in any corner of the world, and say, oh, for us this time, we are suffering. We have no way. Please, it is safe to stay home uh, as you follow us, and uh, you'll be helped. Okay? So, please, if you can't access this, and I start for you, we can still reach us on our contacts. As I said earlier, we will be helping you. So, we come to the end of the lesson today, and I wish you well. Stay well.